Hello everyone, welcome back to Azure part 4 where we are busy building our Exchange 2013 server and in the last part we uh, basically prepared Active Directory and we prepared the schema. Um, this machine did do updates as well so it took a little bit longer to come online but nonetheless we are here now and we're going to start with the Exchange 2013 installation. So going back to my downloads folder where I extracted the ISO I open the ISO and I'm going to right click on the setup and run as administrator. Um, some, some of you might find that the setup is a lot longer than running the um, the command line installation which it is and you'll see why. It is a quite a few clicks you have to go through. So the first thing is this is what it looks like. We're doing CU23, you can see cumulative update 23 and I'm not going to check for updates. Um, what it's going to do now is it's going to obviously copy files and start preparing its setup. And oh, this installation is it's it's longer than a 2010 installation. Um, and <clears throat> it should complete quite quickly now. Again, this is dependent on how powerful your machine is. Obviously, if the machine is lower spec, less CPUs, less memory, the installation is obviously going to drag along. Um, quite a lot so <clears throat> let's see what this comes up with so if you've forgotten to install something um, and it happens that you let's say you forgot the binaries visual c++ the setup will actually tell you at the end um, before it actually allows you to start installing once it's done all its checks and everything else that you're missing this <clears throat> or there's a pending reboot etc then you first obviously need to reboot again and then run the setup again so please excuse uh, any noise in the background um, it is quite busy here today with things happening so I do apologize up front so once this is now finished copying its files it will basically run before we have to continue with the next set of next 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 before we can actually do the installation right so there is now busy initializing the setup before we can continue okay so welcome to your 2013 setup you can see here click next you have to accept the license terms click next when it comes to the recommended settings, um, I leave it as default, which is user recommended settings and click next. Now, you'll notice that 2013, you've got the CAS role, the mailbox role, and the edge role. So it's not like 2016 and 2019, where you only have the mailbox or the edge role. So I'm going to choose obviously mailbox and client access because I'm only having one server. If I wanted to break this up and have my CAS service um, internet facing and keep the mailbox service back then you can do that as well where you'll untick this and only do the CAS role now obviously once you choose those the edge role grays out so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click next I'm going to install this in the default location um, this is a C drive if you want to change it to a D or an E or an F whatever your choice is you can click next um, the next part is obviously malware protection settings the default is to disable no which I'm going to leave click next and now what's going to happen is it's basically going to go and do a check you know is the server ready can I install exchange 2013 am I missing something and this is generally quite quick to tell you if you're missing something if there's a pending reboot in our instance there isn't right so I'm going to click the install button now you would have noticed that if I didn't prepare Active Directory, we would have had step one of 15. It would have gone through the process of doing um, the organization preparation first, then stopping the services and then copying the files. Now this process is, is going to take um, quite a while to do and I don't want to linger this video you know for too long uh, sometimes this install can take an hour uh, it depends on the machine itself so I'm going to stop the video here 
if you do run into any issues, um, please do let me know. But technically, because it's a brand new installation, there shouldn't be any issues. Shouldn't be in capital letters. Um, and it should go through quite quickly. So I'm not going to keep you on the line and hanging and pausing and, and everything I get. This is basically where we are. We are on step 2 of 14. Let it do its thing. You'll notice that when I do the GUI installation, the, sorry, the command line installation in Exchange 2019, how much simpler it is compared to doing the actual uh, GUI installation like this. So once this is done, we will move over to part five. Part five is configuring all our virtual directories. That is um, auto discover, EWS, OAB, Active Sync, uh, OWA, and obviously we'll talk about PowerShell. And then once we've done all the configuring, we will then move along to our certificates. So see you in part five. Thank you very much for watching.